Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am here with our August 27th new releases. You may be noticing something a little different if you um, watch these frequently, but this week is super fun. I anticipate this video to be a little bit chatty. Um, so grab a snack or a drink or something. I have a Diet Coke on the side because I know I'm gonna be talking a lot probably. Um, so yeah, uh, this week we have two new release kits. Uh, nothing new here. I mean, that's normal. Then here you see that we have two decorative kits, which um, is kind of abnormal for us. And then we have um, a, a small little scrapbook vintage foil collection. So um, let me just go ahead and kind of explain. So um, we normally do our weekly kits every single week, and then we do decorative kits. Normally it's exclusive to like our monthly collections and our subscription, um, but um, I've been getting a lot of requests from people who don't really use weekly kits if we could do more decorative kits that they could use in their planner because they don't really use weekly kits in their planner, which I totally understand that some people's planner styles are changing and I'm all about, um, you know, accommodating requests. So, um, we're going to try out doing some decorative kits that go with our weekly kits. I don't know that we're going to do it every single week. Um, but for now, or like every single kit, I guess I should say, but for now, I mean, that's the plan. So we'll see. Um, and then also, um, we, our decorative kit, we have a new format for our decorative kit, which I think a lot of you will be really happy about, hopefully. Um, so I'm actually going to do the decorative kits first, just so I can show you. Um, we don't have the new format for the weekly kits yet. Um, that will be coming super soon. Um, so yeah, I do know that December is in the old format just because I want, I finished out all the monthlies super early. So that's in the old format, but, um, I think other than December, we have one other kit that's in the old format, and then the rest will be all new format. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited. But you get to see the decorative kit format first before the weekly kit format, I guess. Um, if you are subscribed to our subscription, then and you get the decorative kit, you'll see that you already got this. So, well, you'll see that this is the format that you're going to get. Um, you probably have not gotten it yet so um, don't be alarmed but anyway so here is the new decorative kit also kind of fun is we're showing our new washi paper this shouldn't really like affect you much at all I like this paper a little bit better it's a little bit thinner than our previous one but the color payoff is basically the same in my opinion and um, the backing is clear so that's kind of cool um, but other than that, I don't think that it really affects much of anything. We are just kind of transitioning over to this paper. A lot of the newer format stuff will be in this washi. If you pick washi, it'll be in this paper, but, um, some of our other stock and probably our older stuff will still be the older washi paper. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'm not sure that it should really affect anything anyway. So it, in my opinion, it shouldn't matter which one you get, but. I know some people might be picky, so I don't know. Anyway, let's just get into it. So this first page doesn't look different at all. And this is what I was talking about with the background being clear. You can't really tell from there, but um, it looks clear that way. Um, I guess I will say this. So because the background's clear and the background isn't white, it makes the stickers look different on the sheet because it's not already on a white backing but like our old paper is on white backing. So you can kind of see here, this is how it would have looked on our old paper because it has a white backing. But once you peel the pick sticker up, it doesn't have the backing on it anymore, obviously on either paper. So um, it doesn't really matter, but that the sheets might look different until you, you put the sticker down in the planner. I hope that that makes sense. Anyway, first page, nothing has really changed. Um, it's just the flowers page. Second page, so our second page is foiled. This is the the bouquets page, and it is foiled in rose gold foil. I hope you can see that there. Um, it's kind of like a confetti foil. Um, so yeah, that's on the bouquets page. Next up, we have these elements, which is normally called deco, but 
I just called them elements um, this time around. Um, I did get a lot of feedback about wanting like more of the like clip art to be in the kits. I did feel like the decorative kits before were like a little bit of deco here and there, but it mostly just felt like a big like floral kit, which was like fine, but I don't know. Um, I did agree with the feedback, so took that into consideration. So here is the elements page. Just some larger scale deco. This is the edges page. So we don't have like an edges and a corners page anymore. It's just the edges. Um, so you get two corners here and then you get three edges. I feel like that's a solid amount. Um, you can see here that this edges page is foiled. In the listing, it does mention if it's foiled or not. Um, yeah, this page is foiled. And you can see here, I put some like plaid underneath it and just some like little stamp textures and other stuff like layered a little bit more just to make it more fun than just florals. Here is, this is called the layered page. So it's a lot of like pre-built compositions that are, I don't know, super fun to play with, I guess. Um, so, um, like for example here, we have this photo strip that's got some flowers on it and some foil on it. Um, we have this little scene here with the, the florals on it. We have this, sorry, my stomach is growling. Um, we have this like bag of pumpkins with some plaid behind it and some foiled leaves on it. Here's a little pumpkin arrangement with some florals and more plaid. This book here, here's just some florals and some of that same texture and then another sort of like watercolor scene here. So love this. This is like more of what, like these two pages for example, are more of like what I'm thinking that you were asking when you want more like clipperty stuff included in the kits. So um, yeah, that's this. Here, the paper strips um, did not change at all, or much at all, if it did. I can't remember off the top of my head now, but here's the paper strips, they are not foiled. Um, and then before, we had um, a whole sheet of dates and a whole sheet of dots, and I felt like maybe that was a little excessive to have that and the days of the week and stuff on there. So um, I just went ahead and I put it all together on one sheet like this. So you get a whole set of months down here and then you get a whole bunch of Monday through Sundays. On this, I didn't put any florals on the days of the week just because I felt like maybe they looked a little weird. I don't know. Um, for now, it's like this. But if you guys want to see like some little elements on the days of the week, let me know. I can um, obviously change it for future kits. Um, we do have a couple of these designed right now, but in the future, um, I can take into consideration. Or if you're really missing like another set of date dots, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's that. This is the borders. So before we had just, um, it was a border of florals on each side and they were like cut straight off on the side as well. Um, so this has more clip art included in it. Um, so it's just clip art and florals and it's foiled of course. And then before it had some flower, like this was here and this was here and it's just flowers and then just had individual flowers here. But instead I put some smaller borders. So these ones are, um, I think these ones are like two inches wide. And then this one is a full washi length wide. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I am showing this on washi, but it's also available in white. Um, our decorative kits are no longer available in um, transparent, at least the ones on our website. We do have some people that are currently subscribed to the transparent, um, which I do recommend switching to white or washi. Our current transparent paper that we use to print color on doesn't actually let us foil. So if you have we're not doing the transparent for this because we're not able to foil it. So um, for any subscribers, you might be missing out on foil by having the transparent. So just keep, oh, yep, having the transparent. So um, 
we will be reaching out and messaging all subscribers if they want to switch to white or washi. I mean, you can keep transparent, you just won't get foil. So, in my opinion, I don't think the washi is any... Well, I don't want to say my opinion. To my knowledge, um, I guess also my opinion, um, having washi paper versus transparent, there's not really much of a difference. I don't really see what transparent offers differently than um, washi could, unless of course you just really don't enjoy washi paper. Um, but I don't know, I feel like washi paper actually blends in with the page better than transparent does anyway, especially this one because it's um, on the thinner side, so I don't know. Hopefully that's not a deal breaker for anyone, um, but yeah, here are um, this page is called Scenes, so it's more like composition sort of things versus like individual elements as implied by the elements name. So like for example here you have like one pumpkin or like one leaf or a pair of shoes, whereas this is like a bird bath, a fireplace with stuff around it, you know, stuff like that. So um, it'll vary from kit to kit depending on the art of course, but um, Especially if you got August Mystery, you'll know exactly what I mean why this page was called Scenes, but yeah. So we have like the swing, this little bookshelf here, coat rack, fireplace, bird bath, that um, bag of pumpkins, this uh, pie here, and then a like stove. So Next, I feel like a lot of people are going to be excited about this one. I don't know why, that's just my feeling, um, but... Um, number one page I want to add foil to is the box swatch page. The box swatch page is the closest that you'll get to full boxes in our decorative kits. And we don't sell our full boxes a la carte either. So if you really wanted boxes in like, in like a decorative form, you would need the box swatch page. But then you don't get the foil before. So now it's foiled. So you get a lot of the same foil on the box swatch as you do on the full boxes. So you get two floral ones here, of course. You get this scene with the dog, and then that's the same full box as this with the dog. You get this like hanging um, bench chair thing, which is the same basically as that. Um, this bag of pumpkins, there's the bag of pumpkins, and then this scene here is that scene. So this is the closest to get without being full boxes, and they're like more I guess organic to match the kind of like decorative vibe by having like the torn edges and like um, not exactly just like a straight box. So I don't know. I'm really excited about having foil on this page. And then last but not least, um, switch things up a little bit too. Um, these are swashes. So we have two washi length ones and then we have two um, like smaller size. I think we called them mini before. Um, before it was like super watercolory and it was like cut out around the shape of the floral. I did change it so that the floral is kind of like inside the watercolor stroke. Um, I'm not sure which you guys would prefer, but um, the only way that I could get it to fit like this was to have it inside of the um, watercolor. Um, but then I felt like having one sheet of the washi and one sheet of the mini was also like excessive. But then I also knew that if you want the washi, you probably want two of them. So I don't know. Um, this is just what I came up with. I think it'll work really, really well. So, and the sheet isn't foiled. So just kind of like an overview. So this sheet is not foiled. The box swatches are. The scenes are not, but the borders are. We have the days and the dates and the paper strips. Those are not foiled. The layered, the edges are foiled. Elements and flowers are not foiled and the bouquets are foiled. So I really hope that you guys like this change. Um, this reformat was kind of a grueling process because I want to make people happy, but I can't make everyone happy. And I, it's always been a problem for me is like trying to make everyone happy. So tried my best. Um, but I do appreciate feedback. Um, if I do feel like the feedback makes sense or like um, a lot of people are giving the same feedback, then I'll definitely change it. Um, but also, um, 
if it doesn't work for like one person for example or if like everyone's happy but one person isn't then like it's really hard to just be like I can't just cater to one person you know what I mean I don't know anyway that was the leaf decorative kit I'm gonna go ahead and go through best this is not this video is not 15 minutes long and I haven't even gone through the actual weekly kits yet so I'm just gonna flip through this so that you can see everything um yeah I told you this video was gonna be chatty <laughs> Um, so yeah, so first off we have the flowers, of course. I like this because it feels a little bit less repetitive. Like of course the sheets are going to be like the same, but I feel like by adding in the, the foil, it allows like more creativity, especially with like the layering and like what I choose to like layer with and what elements I like to foil on here. So I feel like it like breaks up like how... I don't want to say that they were boring before, but that for lack of a better word, it's just, it was more boring before. So here is, are the bouquets foiled in silver. Here are the elements. So we have like a lantern, a key, a clock, it's like blanket ladder, some pumpkins, acorns, leaves, all that fun stuff. Here are the edges. So here... We have some like foiled sweater texture in here and some foiled coffee rings and leaves. Um, and then behind it, there's just like some like vintage like writing and like other leaves like layered into it. So those are the edges. And then of course we have the layered sheet. So up here we kind of have like a scene here with some coffee and tea, acorns here, more foiled like sweater texture. Here we have a basket with some pumpkins and some foiled leaves and pine cones. This pretty watering can here. And that same um, key here with like a really pretty texture behind it. Here's a little note with a foiled coffee ring on it. Some leaves with like a sweater texture behind it and another foiled coffee ring. And then here you have like a mailbox with some like sparkles and like falling leaves so this sheet is so pretty I'm in love with her here is the paper strips page have some vintage writing in some of them and then a little clock um, kind of hidden in there here are the days and dates I think this sheet is the one that I'm most concerned about um, whether or not it needs an update. Um, so yeah. Any feedback is appreciated, but you get, um, five weeks, just in case. So, and then here we have the borders. Love this so much. You have the mailbox with the clock here. Some of that tea right next to the clock with the foiled steam and the foiled um, sweater texture. We have that blanket ladder with a um, basket of pine cones, a bench here. Here we have like a table and um, some like acorns and stuff and then a bath, like a different kind of picnic basket with some pumpkins. So super pretty. Love that. Here we have the scenes. So we have tea, a bench, a table, a bed, a chair with a table next to it and a rug, mailbox, some potted plants, and then a like little shed slash house. Here are the box swatches, which match the full boxes, which I'll show you in a second. You have your foiled floral ones, mailbox with the falling leaves, we have this chair here with like kind of like a wood pillow almost and then a hanging light. Um, more of that like tea with the foiled steam and a little acorn there. And then you have a blanket ladder with a basket of pine cones with foiled pine cones and foiled leaves. So there's that. And then last but not least for this kit we have the swashes. So that is everything. Um, the best thing about having the decorative kit like this is we do have the um, the pages available a la carte, but you can also pick them up bundled and save a lot more that way. So it makes it 
pretty affordable for the number of sheets that you get in my opinion. Um, so definitely check out that. And then as usual, every week we have additional 10% off new releases. So that really makes, I think that makes the bundle like 28-ish percent off, I think is what the site said when I checked it before I started filming. So, um, yeah, that's a lot of savings. I'm going to take a sip real quick. And I already know I'm not going to edit that out. Which is why I wanted to give warning because every time I'm like, oh, I'll edit it out, I always forget. I really don't like listening back to my own videos. I don't like hearing my own voice. Um, I know that that's a common thing, so I don't feel weird saying that. Um, so yeah, I just, when I spend 20 minutes filming, a we're 20 minutes into the video. When I spend 20 minutes filming a video, I really don't want to sit down for another 20 minutes listening to myself again. So I don't really know how people edit those videos. I understand, oh, my camera's dying. So I will have to edit this video. That's really, really unfortunate. Um, please hold. Okay, let's cross some fingers. I charged that enough to finish out this video. I cannot find my other batteries, which is annoying because I have like four or five of them. So let's just fly through this in case um, I didn't charge it enough. <laughs> so um, yeah, I got through the most important stuff anyway. But as I was saying, um, I don't really actually know what I'm saying. So let's just go ahead and go through this. This is this week's foil. First off, we have some stamps. So these are the leaf stamps. And it's just an assortment of stamps, really fun for layering and such. Um, and I just feel like it's kind of like not necessarily like a basic staple, but pretty good staple. We have some pumpkin stamps, floral stamps, some torn paper edges, and some text strips. These are really good for layering on top or behind. To go with that, we have some torn paper edge washi. Love that. I also love Bill making an excessive amount of noise next door. We have some torn text washi. Also good for layering either over or under. And then we have some torn grid washi. Again, very good staple in my opinion. Um, so that is this week's foil. Um, like I said, not sure how long my battery is going to last me. So let's just go ahead and flip through this kit. I'm not going to go too much into detail because a lot of these elements, are, I mean, they're literally the same elements as the decorative kits that I showed you. Um, and also this format is technically, I mean, we're about to update the format, so I'm not going to go too much into the format too. So sorry if this is a little quicker than you're used to, but, um, desperate times call for desperate measures. So um, here are the full boxes. This kit is called Leaf. It's in rose gold foil, just like the decorative kit. Um, the quote says, every leaf speaks bliss to me. Here is the boxes page. The functional page. The washi page. Here is the foil add-on. We have the deco add-on as well. The journal add-on. The floral deco add-on. Oh, excuse me and the alcohol ink swatch add-on. Again, sorry for going through these kind of faster than usual, but yeah. Here is the other kit called Best. Same theme as the other decorative kit I showed you. Again, also in silver foil. Well, not also, but it's the same foil as the decorative kit, which is silver, so. Here are the full boxes. The quote says, the best is yet to come. Here is the boxes page. The functional page. The 
the washi page. We have the foil add-on. Love this one. It's like woodsy without being literal woods. <laughs> um, and then we have the deco add-on. The journal add-on. The floral deco add-on. And the alcohol ink swatch add-on. So yeah, that is everything that I have for you guys this week. So sorry for the mishap video. I guess it doesn't affect y'all that much because time does not exist the same way in videos as it does in real life, fortunately. So, <laughs> oh, now my, my battery is actually dying, dying now. Um, so I know this is going to cut me off in like two seconds. So yeah, that is everything for you guys this week. Let me know about what you think about the format down below and this week's new releases. I'm talking at hyper speed now and don't forget you can save 10% off of these kits this week only. Um, yeah. Uh, sorry for rushing, but I gotta go now. Bye.